It's one of the things that I enjoy about um, picking images is when I can find a, an untapped source. I would be an artist that hasn't already been in the puzzle market. So I get very excited when I find someone whose work is ideal for puzzles and has never been a puzzle person before. Um, also like, you know, help them with their own career and getting their work out to a broader audience. The way images get sort of digitized can affect the quality of the image. And you have to kind of sharpen it, make it crisp. Because when you're looking at this much of an image, you, you want to know what you're looking at. Through the process of photographing art, and scanning it, quite often there's dirt and scratches and things that happen. We remove those before we send the files to print. Sometimes we have to make more radical changes. Uh, an example is this one here. It's called uh, Laundry Line. And if you look at the original, you'll see that it's, um, it's almost a panorama, right? It's almost twice as long as it is tall. So we had to change the image to make it fit into our existing die line. And if you look at some of the elements, they're kind of on the outside. So like this tree is interesting, this dog, this fence, and then of course the woman on the other end hanging up the quilt. Here's the beginning shot, and here's what we ended up with. We've managed to keep a lot of the more interesting elements for a puzzle. Color scheme is quite a bit brighter. Grass is greener, the sky is bluer. It just helps when you're putting that puzzle together. This image here, and as you see, it's a lovely little image, but it's very gray and sort of mm, colorless. So we decided to make it an easier puzzle to put together that we wanted different areas of color. From 60 to 2,000 piece puzzles. All our puzzles are what's called random cut. See pieces like this, uh, or this? That happens in a random cut puzzle. Um, the other alternative is what's called a ribbon cut. And uh, they're actually more difficult to do because it's almost like a grid, right? This is a ribbon cut. Your pieces look like that, and they just interlock, you know, like that. And there's a little interlocking pieces. I prefer the random because I think it's fun to have interesting pieces and you never quite know how they're going to fit together. But at the same time when you need to find that one piece it's got a unique shape so it's a lot easier to spot. So we use the linen print on the puzzle itself and we also use it on the box so that the final products you know match. One of the different piece counts we have is uh, what we call easy handling. It's a full-size puzzle like the same size as a 500 piece, but it's only 275 pieces. So the pieces are larger and it's targeted at people who are adults, but may be having some eyesight or hand-eye coordination problems. So it's a little easier to put together. The paper and the board that we use in making our puzzles um, includes recycled fiber content and the ink we use um, is soy-based. All our puzzles are made in the United States we use a premium grade of board. It's a little thicker than some, a little stiffer. You know, it doesn't bend. You don't um, find a lot of damaged uh, nibs or pips. So you'll notice ours are pretty low on dust. I'm always surprised by the amount of letters we get. People write to us and tell us how much they appreciate uh, the quality and effort that we put into creating our puzzles. We also create some of our own images using photography. It's kind of nerve-wracking because sometimes it can take hours to get the shot in the can, as they say. <laughs> like uh, teacups or donuts or cupcakes, um, yarn, beads, quilts. Subjects that we think would appeal to puzzlers. Uh, one of the other piece counts we have is uh, family puzzles, but um, Part of it is made of large pieces, and part of it is made of small pieces, and they kind of meet in the middle with mid-side pieces. And the idea is that children work on the easy section and adults work on the hard section. But it was funny when I actually did a photo shoot with an actual family. The kid didn't want to do the kid section. She wanted to do the hard stuff. And the mom, who hadn't done a puzzle in forever, was quite happy doing the large piece section. So it still worked as a family puzzle, just not quite the way we expected. <laughs> 
We're a relatively new company. We get to learn something new every year, but through quality images, quality workmanship, quality materials, attention to detail, our goal is to produce the best puzzles in North America. Come visit us online at CobbleHillPuzzles.com.